years. For four years, I walked around, walked around, waited around. Um, wherever I went, whether I was fishing or not, I had a notepad and I was jotting down tips as they occurred to me, as they came up in my fishing, as they came up in my teaching, when I teach fishing shows, fly fishing shows and so forth. And, um, but it really took me a lifetime from age 10 or 11 or 12, whenever I started fly fishing up to now to get all these tips, to get, uh, 365, as the book says, really good useful fly fishing tips. Let me show you what's inside the book. A lot of great photos for one thing and illustrations. Here, these illustrations, uh, each symbol with a few letters designates a specific fish and a specific kind of water. These symbols appear with the tips to indicate which fishes in which waters that specific tip applies to. Then we go through the contents and every tip has its own number and its name is listed and its page number is listed. And there are a bunch of uh, chapters. We have starts out with meeting the fishes because that's important. These are the fishes that the book covers specifically. You need to understand them. Then we go to chapter two, strategies and tactics. And there are a lot of them. <laughs> these, are, these are things that really help you catch fish. Uh, techniques, that's different ways of fishing different rigs at different depths and different ways. They're absolutely important too. And then the way you get the fly to the fish, casting, delivering fly to fish. That's exactly right. If you can't get the fly out to the fish, you're in trouble. This goes into not just basic casting from a lot of angles, thing, tips that really improve your casting, make it easier, more efficient, but it also uh, teaches you different kinds of casts for different situations, especially moving water, rivers, creeks. Uh, reading the water, I called that figuring out where the fish are, which is exactly what reading water is. You're going to learn to read all kinds of water for all kinds of fishes, not all kinds, but the kinds that are covered in the book. And so you can find the fishes. Pretty hard to catch them if you can't find them. Uh, we have a chapter with all these tips in it on hooking, playing, handling fish, releasing fish, all kinds of stuff about artificial flies. I've written, I don't know how many fly tying books and articles, but it's a lot. And so <laughs> that was kind of fun and easy for me. Uh, and then what those flies imitate. So we have a bunch of that so that you understand not only the flies, but what they imitate, which helps you understand when and how to use them. Uh, rigging and rigs and tackle, that stuff's critical. And it goes on like that. One thing I really wanted in the book, which is useful for anybody, but, but absolutely a matter of survival for beginning fly fishers, was a glossary. So we have right here at the very end of the book, learn the lingo, 140 fly fishing terms. This is the language of fly fishing. If you're going to get into fly fishing, you need to start picking that up and getting used to it. And this will really help that. So in that first chapter, I introduce you to four different, the most common trout species by far, the four different ones in North America and really overseas, honestly. And then I introduce you, these are the fishes that the book is about, that it covers. Then I tell you about largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, which are very different fishes. And then panfishes, which are, they're just, they're a lot more than three, but they are just, they're small and they're feisty and they're fun and they're all different. And the book covers them as well. This book does have, as its name title says, 365 tips. But see, here's a bonus tip. These are some shorter tips that I really liked. So I asked my editor if we could, if I could shorten them and squeeze them in. And she said, yes. So they're actually, if you include those, the book has 399 tips pretty much my lifetime's worth. And I'm pretty old, <laughs> and I started fishing when I was very young. This is pretty typical of a lot of the book. Um, really, my, my wife is a professional um, photographer and painter, and so she did the illustrations and she took most of the photos. I took that one because that is my wife right there. But, uh, you know, this is pretty typical stuff for the book. It, it gets around. And you know, that's pretty much it. It's a thick book with a lot of information, a lot of illustrations and photos, and I think it's fun to read.
Thank you.